Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Global Healthy Living. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, the causes of cancer, uh, the risk factors of cancer, and the ways in which uh, we can prevent cancer diseases. Research indicates that cancer kills more people than HIV, uh, tuberculosis, and malaria combined. This is a serious problem. More research indicates that four out of five cases of cancer are diagnosed at when they're in their advanced stage, which limits uh, treatment options. When cancer is detected earlier, the chances of successful treatment are so high. But if a cancer is detected late, it limits uh, the chances of survival. More research shows that uh, due to infectious diseases in sub-Saharan Africa, Cancer has emerged as the leading cause of uh, mortality in the region. The causes of cancer, according to the World Health Organization, through its uh, research agency called uh, International Agency for Research on Cancer, in short, IARC, uh, Cancer causing agents are classified into three. These three cancer causing agents include the physical carcinogens, the chemical carcinogens, and the biological carcinogens. Uh, the chemical carcinogens are, uh, for example, uh, components that are found in tobacco, uh, contaminated food, uh, drinking water that is contaminated, those are some of the chemical carcinogens. The physical carcinogens include things like uh, ultraviolet radiations and ionizing radiations. The ultraviolet radiation uh, include things like much sunlight, and the ionizing uh, radiation include uh, things like diagnostic medical imaging, such as uh, strong x-rays. The biological carcinogens include infections that can be caused by viruses, bacteria, and parasites. So, as a result of these three cancer-causing agents, uh, we have things that increase your risk to get cancer. And these things are called uh, risk factors. So the first risk factor is tobacco use or smoking. If you smoke, you are likely to get uh, cancers of the lungs, mouth cancer, throat cancer, cancer of the oesophagus, uh, cancer of the pancreas, and bladder cancer. The more you smoke, the more you are at risk of getting cancer. According to research, one out of four people that die of cancer die because of tobacco use. The problem with the tobacco smoking is that there is poisonous chemicals in the tobacco which damage uh, the DNA and then they prevent uh, the cells from changing which in the end result into cells to grow without control and this causes 
cancerous tumors. The second risk factor of cancer is physical inactivity, or call it lack of physical exercises. If you don't exercise, you risk to get cancer. Lack of physical exercises does not only cause cancer, but it causes other diseases, like for example, heart diseases. So please, you need to exercise. The third risk factor of cancer is uh, alcohol use. The more you drink alcohol, the more you risk to get cancer. Another risk factor of cancer is unhealthy dieting. Research shows that people who eat a lot of red meat, such as beef, pork, and lamb, get cancer more than people who do not eat such kind of uh, meat. And also, Processed meat increases the risk of getting cancer. Another risk factor of cancer is overweight or obesity. Research shows that people who are overweight or obese get more cancer than people who are not overweight. And this kind of cancers uh, that are found in people who are overweight include uh, cancers of the breast, uh, ovary cancer, stomach cancer, uh, cancer of the esophagus, bladder cancer, and also cancer of the brain. Another risk factor of cancer is much exposure to sunlight. If you expose yourself to much sunlight, you risk getting skin cancer. And in my last video, I told you that uh, skin cancer is one of the five most common cancers we have today. So avoid exposing yourself to much sunlight. Otherwise, you risk yourself to get skin cancer. Another risk factor of a cancer is infections. Infections such as human papilloma virus, hepatitis B or C, and helicobacter pylori cause cancers. Like for example, human papilloma virus causes cervical cancer. And hepatitis B and C causes cancer of the liver and helicobacter pylori causes stomach cancer. Another cancer risk factor is uh, poor immune system. People with a poor immune system or impaired immune system such as uh, AIDS patients and people on immune suppressive uh, therapy they risk to get uh, different types of cancers. For example, people with HIV normally get some kind of cancer called uh, Kaposi sarcoma. Another uh, risk factor of cancer is age. The more you grow, the more you risk to get uh, cancer. This is because uh, the more you grow, uh, the more uh, your cells get damaged and other factors. The last risk factor of cancer, not the least, is inherited genes. Some families have cancer in their genes and people from such families normally get cancer. So it is really hard to control uh, your genes if your family has cancer in the lineage. 
Now I present uh, the ways in which one can prevent cancer. Number one is adapting to a healthy lifestyle. For example, reduce smoking or tobacco use. The more you reduce tobacco use, the more you reduce the risk of getting cancer. Be physically active. Engage in physical activities. Go out there, run, walk, have some games out. Then you reduce the risk of getting cancer. Also, control your weight so that you don't overweigh or become obese. Then you reduce uh, the risk of getting cancer. More so is uh, having a proper diet. Reduce on the red meat and increase your intake of fruits and vegetables. You'll be doing well and avoiding the risk of getting cancer. Also reduce on alcohol use. The second way to prevent cancer is vaccinate against human papilloma virus, in short HPV and hepatitis B. If we can have vaccines for HPV and hepatitis B, uh, we can control 1 million cases of cancer. And this is very good. So it is really good to have vaccinations uh, for hepatitis B and for HPV, which is human papilloma virus. Another way to prevent cancer is to reduce uh, the exposure to ultraviolet radiations. Like for example, you can avoid having much exposure to sunlight. Then you reduce the risk of getting uh, skin cancer. Another way to prevent uh, cancer is reducing uh, on the use of ionizing radiation. This uh, involves things like, for example, uh, occupational hazards and things like uh, medical diagnostic imaging. For example, uh, x-rays. If we do this, if we can reduce on uh, factors that expose us to ionizing radiations, we also reduce the risk of getting cancer. It starts with you. It starts with me. We can reduce on the cases of cancer. So please share this video uh, to your loved ones and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, comment, and please turn on the notification bell so that you are notified each time a video is uploaded. Please comment. Your comments mean a lot to me. Thank you so much.